Hi, my name is Warren, and this is a router jig I made for cutting box and dovetail joints. The whole fixture sits on a router table and has a box frame that's about 18 inches wide. The red carriage, which is the uh, device in the middle, is made from quarter inch aluminum plate and is six inches wide. Your workpiece clamps to the carriage, which can move left and right with the aid of the uh, screw and crank. A digital readout is attached to the carriage to indicate the relative carriage position left and right. There's also a center guide bar that you see at the bottom of the box frame that allows the fixture to easily move fore and aft between the two yellow bars that are clamped to the router table. The carriage has fences on the left and the right uh, which have slots for a horizontal uh, piece of angle iron with three quarter twenty screws that are used to clamp the work piece to the carriage. This is the back of the jig. There are three holes drilled and tapped in the guide bar that allow the entire fixture to swivel and lock at either the zero degree position or plus or minus eight degrees. The plus or minus eight degree position of course are used when cutting dovetail pins. To make box joints that are evenly spaced with, say, quarter inch or half inch fingers and slots, you don't really need to have a layout diagram. But if you need variable spaced slots and fingers, a layout diagram is helpful. Here I'm using a quarter inch straight router bit to cut a box joint out of material that is 3 and 5 eighths wide and 0.3 inches thick. I want a pair of quarter inch fingers and slots on the left and right sides, one half inch finger slot at the center. Given these dimensions, I then need a pair of 0 .4063 finger slots uh, to make the sum of all the fingers and slots add up to 3 and 5 eighths inches. To cut this joint, one positions the workpiece so it just touches the router bit and then use zero, the DRO. Now you can use the DRO to index the carriage position according to the dimensions in the table in the layout diagram. Here's a diagram for cutting slots. I have a piece of maple that's three inches wide and 0.3 inches thick, and I'm using an eight degree, five sixteenths inch diameter dovetail bit. The dimensions are indexed from the edge of the workpiece to the center line of the dovetail bit. To make the cuts, position the edge of the workpiece so it just touches the dovetail bit, zero the DRO, move the carriage half the diameter of the bit, and zero the DRO again and then make the cuts. This is a layout diagram for cutting the pins. Note that this is an edge view of the workpiece, whereas the uh, slots layout was for a face view. 
You'll note that some of the cuts are made with the jig swiveled to the left and some to the right, and I've color-coded which cuts are left and right. The dimensions here are derived from the slot dimensions. There's no trigonometry needed, just simple arithmetic.